A very common path to AppSheet is from Google Sheets. So it goes something like you've already got a process that you've been maintaining for a while within Google Sheets. It's just starting to get a little bit out of hand. Uh, some of the common problems might be that you have users who are using the sheet and aren't necessarily entering the data in the way that you want. And there's not really great ways to enforce the consistency within Google Sheets. Another is that you have a number of different sheets that have relationships within the data and you've got those linked together using formulas and Google Sheets and it's just getting a little bit too messy, a little bit too complicated to maintain uh, and and you know causing problems because of that. And a third and very common one is that you want to be able to use your sheets and your data on mobile. And if you've ever done this, you've probably seen Google Sheets does have a, a decent app for actually accessing your sheets when you're out and about. But if you're doing anything beyond just you know checking on some data or making an occasional edit here and there, it's a little bit difficult to work with because you've got a very small screen, you've got a sheet that's got all these cells in it, it's difficult to scroll around and find things. Uh, editing the data is a little bit cumbersome since you have to click the individual rows and go down to the bottom and edit it. So it's something that Google Sheets is something that works much better on a computer than a phone. So if you really have the need for a phone, it can be a little bit challenging. So fortunately, AppSheet is great in all of these areas and kind of double fortunately, it also uses Google Sheets as one of its primary backing data sources. And therefore, what you can do is basically take your existing sheet with the data as, as it is or almost as it is, uh, bring it in and link it to an AppSheet app and basically build a nice user interface on top of that sheet data that you already have. The only real challenge with that is that AppSheet requires that you have a unique value assigned to each one of your rows or each one of your records within your sheets. Google Sheets doesn't really care about that. It's completely free form. You can just have anything, but uh, AppSheet wants to see that consistency for each one of those rows that it knows that this is an unchanging value for that row so it knows exactly how to identify it. So in order to do that, you there's a couple different ways. You can A, just designate one of your existing columns as that key or you can create a new column that has a unique ID for each particular record. In the first case, you could an example is you could have something like the customer's name and you identify that as the key that you wanna use. The problem is that a customer's name isn't really completely unique. You could have another customer that comes along with that same name. So if you designated that as your key, you're not gonna be able to create another new customer with that name. You have to put a number two after the customer's name or something like that in order to make it unique. So that's not really great from a kind of data quality perspective and also not super professional for the users of your app that you need to, they need to go in and put in some random values and customer's name in order to get things to work. So really the better option is to actually create, either if you have unique columns or unique data already that's truly unique, use that. Or if you don't, create a new column and create unique values specifically for each one of your records before you bring it into AppSheet. So that's what we're gonna look at today, how to actually set up your sheet in order to bring it into AppSheet. If this is your first time on the channel, welcome. My name is Doug and what we do here is talk about Google App Sheet. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back and watching another video, I really do appreciate it. I also wanna call out one additional thing. I've noticed in the YouTube stats that a lot of you, a lot of existing viewers are interested in the AI related, App Sheet AI related content that I posted. Uh, and I, I'm working on another AppSheet AI related video right now. It's one of the most interesting topics that I've come across. Uh, I'm probably gonna have that ready next week. So if you're not already subscribed and you're interested in AppSheet and AI and wanna see that video, be sure to subscribe so you get notified when I post it. All right, let's take a look at how we can get our Google Sheets ready for AppSheet. All right, so here's a sheet that I created in order to demo this. Uh, and like I gave in the example before, let's start by just using the customer name as our unique ID, as our, our key value for this particular sheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new app sheet app from this. All 
All right, so you see by default, it selected my customer name as my key. Everything's showing up in here, all good. However, let's say Bob Johnson, let's go create a new record. And let's say that I have another customer whose name happens to be Bob Johnson. And as soon as I try to click save, it says that there's already a row with Bob Johnson. So that's the problem that I was talking about earlier, that you don't really want to use a column that's not truly unique for the for your key. All right, let's go back to our sheet again. And this time, let's create a new column that we can use for our unique ID. So I'm going to put one in here. I'm going to call it order ID. I'm going to go back to app sheet again, and I'm going to refresh my data source to get that new value. So now you see that I have uh, the order ID in here. I'm going to make that the key. I'm going to uncheck it here and I'm going to click save. And now if I go back to my main view again, you'll see the problem here is we have no data at all. And that's because there's no values assigned to order ID at all. It's completely blank. So the next thing we need to do is actually add in unique values into our order ID. So let's go back over to our order sheet again. And probably the most straightforward way to create a bunch of unique IDs is to generate a sequence of numbers. So let's start with one for the first one. And then we're going to say equals in order to get a formula. And we're going to say a two plus one. So the, the value of the first, uh, first row here plus one. So I'm just going to select that what Google's suggesting there. And then if I fill that down here, oops, by dragging this down, it's going to create a sequential uh, list of numbers for each one of those records. So that will theoretically work. But before we even go on, I'm going to call out a problem here. If you have a value like this, where a you have a column that's got a, a formula that it's used for, and you're also trying to use an initial value in order to set the unique ID for new records in AppSheet, it's going to cause a bunch of problems and confusing problems that are going to be difficult to debug. So if you're using this method in order to create a bunch of IDs, make sure that you're converting these, these formula values to the actual result of the formulas before you try to bring it into AppSheet. And the way that you can do that is I can just select this entire column and I can select, I can say cut, and then I can go back and I can say paste special as values only. And I know that's confusing because it doesn't look like we actually did anything. But what we did was actually took the formulas out of each one of these cells and took the result of those formulas and replaced the values with that. So you see there's no more formulas when I look up here. It's just the actual values. So let's go back into AppSheet again. Let's refresh our data source. All right, and you see I now have values here uh, for everything showing up because everything's got unique IDs for it. So the next thing we wanna do is make sure that we're also adding new unique IDs in whenever we're creating a new record. So we want that to happen automatically so we don't have to put in a value for the unique ID. And to do that, I can basically go to my order ID and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go in and edit my initial value and I'm just gonna put in the expression unique ID. And that's gonna actually have AppSheet generate a unique ID for that record whenever I create a new record. So let's try that. I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna get plus, and you see now it's created a new order ID for their random value. I'm gonna put Bob Smith here, and I'm gonna create, and that's done. All right, so now you see we have our new record up here, Bob Smith, that has this type of ID, and then we have our other records that all have just like these numbers. And that's, I mean, it'll work fine like that, but if you're, you, you know, want some consistency with what you're actually seeing within your app, it might bother you, or it might not bother you, it bothers bothers me that the, the IDs look a little bit different. So if I want to go back and actually make my IDs that I'm bringing into AppSheet from the old records look like these things, uh, I basically just need a different way to create them. So let's go back over to our sheet again. You see all my records are there. 
So I've got a formula that creates IDs that are similar to the IDs that are created by a unique ID in AppSheet. And so what that formula looks like is this, and I'm gonna include this in the description as well. So if you wanna use this formula for what you're creating, you're, you'll be able to do it as well. Uh, but when I click that, you see it creates a random ID and it looks like these IDs down here, eight characters with a combination of numbers and letters. And it is, is random because it's using a random, a random uh, function right here in order to be able to do that. So I can just drag that down now and it's going to create random values for each one of those columns. Again, we have that same problem that we talked about earlier where we're, we got a formula here now and now that we have an initial value defined in AppSheet, it's really going to be a problem if we try to use this as is. So I, for the columns that I just generated, I need to again select them and I need to cut and then I need to go back and paste special and values only. And so again, now if I look, these things are all values here, not the columns anymore. So that's good. I'm gonna go back to AppSheet again and just refresh one more time. All right, so we are all squared away now. We have our new key in here with a bunch of unique values, uh, our new IDs for the, or IDs for the existing values that we brought in look similar to the IDs that we brought in with the new values. So we feel good about that. And we've got all our data in the app and we're also able to create new records which will have new IDs automatically assigned. So I hope that's helpful and if you have any questions about it, ask down in the comments and I will do my best to answer. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching and happy building.